Tomorrow, truthfully, this is actually true, and I know comics say that all the time, tomorrow would have been my 10th wedding anniversary. Yeah, true. And stuff like that kind of nags on you. It's a, it's a normal thing for that to just kind of you know, be in the back of your mind and it keeps nagging at me and basically reminds me that I gotta call it off with my hooker. <laughs> no, she's getting clingy. I'll tell you, she's showing me photos of her kid. She's like, this could be your son. And I'm like, this little guy's like 12. And I'm pretty sure black. You know, and our arrangement began like March. She's like, no, no, it could be your son if you wanted it to be. And I'm just, oh yeah, right. <laughs> you know, my mother wants grandkids, but a prefab preteen in a crack whore chaser is not what I think she's looking for. I know, baby, you've been sober three weeks, I know. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking like, no, to tell me that's not true. You don't have a hooker, you know. And you, please, if you do, you use protection, don't you? And I was like, trust me. Before anything goes on, I just drop an airborne tablet and a Jack Daniels. <laughs> Nothing's gonna touch me. It's good for flying cross country too. Just in case you're stuck in that hell flight. I mean, it's been like a year and a half. I've just been on a bender. I gotta be honest, bender. Just Rum, vodka, tequila, gin, bourbon, whiskey, scotch, wine, beer, Jaeger, I smoked pot, I ate pot, I took Xanax, muscle relaxers, morphine in pill form, I did coke, coke mixed with crystal, I dated a bunch of women, slept with almost as many, banged a couple of strippers, and had a few happy endings, and committed a lot of excessive spending, just to find out what makes me happy. <laughs> And what I realized, there's the, what I realized was that all of those things, all, every single one of them, left me with the same exact feeling I would have had if I had just jerked off in a sock and took a nap. So I'm not saying don't do those things. I'm just saying before you do, jerk off in a sock, take a nap. And when you wake up, and if you still want to do it, then do it. Because that, my friend, is not an impulse buy. That is a lifestyle change. If you're ready to go double down with a couple of strippers and an eight ball in Vegas, well then, Charlie Sheen, God bless you. You know what I mean? You've made a choice at that point, a conscious choice. It's just not like, you know, okay. It's just like, no, I, I took care of business, now I'm ready to go.